the second Christian County Courthouse was uh, torn down to build this one in 1902. It was a brick structure, architecturally not very satisfactory. Abraham Lincoln practiced in it just a little bit, so it was around you know, prior to 1860. Um, interestingly enough, the contractor that tore it down, uh, his name was Hewitt. He took the brick and used it in his new subdivision, which is Hewittville. This courthouse that we are in now is the county's architecturally uh, most significant building. Uh, was built in 1902 and of course is uh, therefore now 113 years old. So the slave clock, it does not have uh, a, uh, a, a common master clock, but rather its master clock is the tower clock. It uh, has four, four faces, so there are four slaves uh, inside it uh, being given signals by the uh, tower clock. It's electrically uh, operated as they were at the turn of the century um, and uh, is a very, very nice feature uh, in this building. The dome was decked over, I believe, uh, or had a false ceiling put under it in 1939. It had then, through various remodelings over the years, uh, three more false ceilings. So it actually had four false ceilings below it. Obviously no one could see it, hadn't seen it since 1939. Um, for the 100th birthday party for the courthouse in 2002, uh, they were looking for ideas and things that we could do. Uh, one thing I suggested was to rebuild the dome. And of course everyone thought, what dome? Uh, because, you know, like I say, not very many people had seen it. You would have to climb up in the tower to see it from the top. Uh, it had various kinds of problems, and these were a lot of glass and a lot of work. Um, and we were able to resurrect the dome, get the false ceilings torn out, and uh, that part of the third floor uh, resurrected from its various remodelings over the years. few different sizes of them. Uh, this one is about the right size for eight foot faces what it is what it's driving. This was a fairly late development in tower clocks in about the last in fact. They originally started out as flatbed machines that were very big and very long. Then they developed little steeples with the escapement in them. And then they shrunk them up some more and combined all of that. The clock is wound and oiled weekly, uh, so I come up here uh, every Saturday morning uh, about 7.30. I'd like to be up in the uh, tower at 8 o'clock. They were looking for music quality uh, sound uh, limited to the area of the square. and. We wanted to do that without affecting the architecture of the building. So uh, it looked like the best solution uh, for that was to project speakers out from the uh, steeple windows. Uh, when the system is off, those windows go closed. They look, the building looks exactly like it did uh, prior to the installation of the system. And when they're on, the speaker units uh, look almost like gargoyles uh, sticking out. Uh, they're not obtrusive. They sort of look like they belong there. Uh, the installation is difficult, not so much because of the direct difficulty in installing it and designing it, but rather because of its location. It's on the 10th level, so we have essentially a 10-story 10, 10 walk-up with all the equipment that you're going to carry up. Well, I hope that we will be able to uh, rebuild the original courtroom uh, someday. Uh, that's a fairly aggressive task, but a lot of it is still there. The dome ceiling is still there, for instance. Uh, most of the plaster work on the walls is still there. It's just been covered up in the 
1969 remodeling. Uh, I hope we'll be able to put that back together someday. There's a lot of emphasis and interest in doing that. Um, that would certainly be the next most logical step in sort of undoing some of the damage that's been done over the years.